Hi there. Let's continue talking and working with functions in Python. So in our last video we talked about how you can create a simple function such as the one on the screen called greet player. Um, you have actually been using functions since the first day in this class. Uh, it, you might notice that this looks kind of familiar. We have the name of something and parentheses. So when we use the print statement you are using what is called a Python built-in function and that will call the Python program that is associated with that particular function. Same thing with um, when you use dot lower. So if you put dot lower or upper on someone's name you're using a method and that method is pre built in so that you can use that. So there's a lot of cool things that Python has that you can automatically use without having to import anything uh, but by creating your own functions you're really extending the power of Python. So what I want to talk about today is how you can pass data to your function to be able to uh, do some work with it. So how about instead of doing the greet player, we just pass the, the greet player an, a name. Okay, so let's, um, instead of having this your name, let's go ahead and put this in the beginning. And maybe we can say something like, this is a cool uh, name program. Okay, it really isn't too cool. All right, so now we're asking them for their name and we're going to call our function, but we're going to pass it the your name variable as a parameter. And so if we're going to pass something to that variable or to that function, we need to also tell that function, hey, you're going to be receiving something. Now, you could technically put whatever you want in here. You could call it X and then your name will be X and you can reference it as X in your um, function. But I'm just going to go ahead and keep it your name and now what's going to happen is it's going to take this input and it's going to call great player with your name. I can also do something like this. Um, let's say I just pass it the string itself and I like to uh, use superheroes while I'm doing this. So I just want to show you you can do this in multiple ways. So let's go ahead and run this program. Okay, what is your name? There is my name and now we, we're using that upper built-in method. Hello Professor Laney and I'm calling that same function again with another name Peter Parker. So you can pass variables, you can pass strings, doesn't really matter, but what is important is that you also have a variable as a parameter in your function. So if we were to run this right now, um, oops, my caps lock key is on, it is going to give me a type error. It says, hey, greet player as you defined it, takes zero, zero positional arguments, but one was given. So that means that, hey, you called this function with a parameter, but we're not expecting any because there is nothing defined in that function. So this is how you can send something to the function and then you can work with that. You can manipulate it however you want to, uh, to do that. This might also work well with something like uh, the other. Let me fix this real quick. The other function that we created called add to. Um, let's say we give it x and y and then we're just going to say print. Okay, this is really unnecessary because we can just do this for real, but Let's say I'm going to print x plus y and I am going to call add to. Make sure you use the parameters properly. And I'm going to do a 3 and an 8. So if I do this, 
I'm just going to put an X in here. It is going to call add two with three and eight, and it's going to print those. I can, again, I can do this as many times as I want and keep calling that program or that function and it will keep working over and over again. So functions are definitely useful when you want to do something multiple times or if you're doing something in a loop with different inputs, different variable values, it's very useful to do that.